Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. Today we have a Maurice's haul today. Oh, you know how I love Maurice's. I shop there way too much. I actually just today got my last pair of boots in. And you know, I already have another order that's on the way. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, all right, I wanna show you what we got today. Uh, see you in a second, I'm gonna readjust this camera. All right, that's better. Now you can kind of see a few of the clothes and then there's two shoes down below that I'll show you after I show you the clothes. All right, they all came in different boxes. I think there was one box that actually had four pieces in it and everything else came in an individual box or actually bag. I don't really like that and I don't like that they use a bunch of sheets because if they sent everything in one box, there'd be one piece of paper. And I feel like it's a waste. And you know, we all need to be a little more environmentally cautious. I'm trying to do that myself. So I just feel like that's kind of a waste. And I wish this company wouldn't do that, but they do. So to end that little rant. Oh, uh, did I say my name's Gina? Everybody calls me G. That's Miss Bonnie Faye. She is in a, a little huff today. She, she wants to be outside. She doesn't realize that it's raining on and off. And so she is taking it out on Miss Callie Cat, who's over there on the bed, wishing she could be in the window. So, hopefully there will not be a cat fight. We'll see. <laughs> All right. These say they are ultra soft high-rise leggings in Zero X. They are soft and, I mean, nice leggings. They kind of have a thick feeling band up here. It's a little on the wide side. Can you see it? Uh, I'm not sure about these, to be honest. They just feel so thin. I almost felt like I was pulling out tights. Um, we'll see what they look like on. I mean, under a tunic, I'm sure they would look adorable. Or a long shirt or if you're like me, a short dress, because I'm not showing that much of my leg. Um, let's see, the Ultra Soft leggings I got for $11.79. The price on the tag is $14.90. So let me see if I can see how they're washed. Oh, made in Bangladesh. Okay, they're 92% polyester, eight spandex. Says turn them inside out, machine wash cold with light colors, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. All right, that's okay. Get that way. I went ahead and opened up all the bags so that I wouldn't be like crumpling and have to cut all that out later. There's Miss Callie Cat. Bonnie went away so she can come out. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I am on the hunt for the perfect black blazer. So, this is one of the blazers that I thought I would try. You can see it's not a full length sleeve. It's three quarter sleeves. They're kind of gathered up at the end. They have kind of a neat little zipper pocket, the slanted zipper pocket, which is kind of gives it a little character, I think. Doesn't look like it has any kind of closure. We'll have to see what it looks like on. Um, it is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Machine wash, cold, tumble dry low. That's good. Um, this is the black asymmetrical open front blazer. Uh, it was 27 62. Y'all, where else are you going to get a blazer for, you know, under 30 bucks? If you go to Nordstrom, you're looking at $120, something like that, unless you catch it on a sale or at Rack, Nordstrom Rack or something, but yeah. That's one of my things I've just been looking for. I have a list, actually. <laughs> um, these tank tops were on sale. I think I, let's see, I paid Six ninety-three for this one. It's kind of got that ombre. It's a little shorter than I would like, and it almost looks like it's going to be too big. It's a two X. 
Um, maybe I should. I got a 1X. We'll try it on and we'll see what it looks like. Um, it has one of those stickers in there that says, This dye process makes each style unique, just like you. Well, that's cool. 95 cotton, 5 spandex. She mosh cold like colors, tumble dry low. Now, anything that's kind of like tie dyed like this, I would always wash it separately the first time just to make sure it's not going to bleed. It's really soft. Um, we'll have to see what it looks like on, of course. Here comes Miss Bonnie. Why don't you go the other side? Don't you start no fights. She's right there. Hang on. That way, if there's a fight, you can see it. I'll keep going. Okay, so this tank top I paid six ninety for. So look at her. She's like, I'm out. <laughs> it's a two X. Just a great tank top. Um, nothing super special about it, you know. Just, just a great tank top. You can always use tank tops. I do wish they were longer, though. Everything seems to be kind of cropped nowadays. This girl, I do go cropped. <laughs> Got too much in the belly for the cropped. Uh, it's 94 cotton, 5 spandex, and one other fiber. I don't wonder what that other fiber is. Machine wash, cold with light colors, tumble dry low. I don't know. I've gotten so picky about how my tank tops fit. It's it's kind of like I, I just I don't know. I've been saying that a lot lately. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> On to my next little piece of paper. Actually, there was two pieces of paper in this one. This is another black blazer. It's black three fourths cuffed sleeve open front blazer. It was twenty three sixty seven. Now, it has more of a textured feel to it. I can already tell that much about it. And it has the, what do you call it? I guess single-breasted. There's a difference in single-breasted and double-breasted. I need to look this stuff up. If I'm going to tell y'all about the clothes, I guess I need to find some stuff out about it. Cuffed sleeve, three-quarter length sleeve. Um... Ninety-seven polyester, three elastine, machine wash, cold, tumble dry low. This is in a two X. It's long. I like the fact that it's long. Um, a lot of them, you know, like I just said, short, cropped, stuff like that. We'll have to see what it looks like on. I'm trying to keep all this stuff together when it's separate like this easier for me if I keep it together because I'll never get it back right if I don't. Now this is a little out of the box for me, but I thought I would try them. I want you to look up close at this pattern. It's got blues in there. It's kind of got orangey colors in there. Really interesting, I thought. Um, I'm trying to venture out of just regular blue jeans. Uh, for a long time, that's all I wore. So now I'm think, you know, I'm starting to try to get black, blue jeans. I'm even thinking about maybe some white, which all my life has been a no-no white jeans because you know, you're on a farm, you're gonna get dirty, <laughs> and you know, animals everywhere, dogs jumping on you. Um, so I just never wore stuff like that. And now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should try, you know, even though. One day I would like to have some goats out there. I grew up with goats, so my mom raised fainting goats. Yes, fainting. If you startled them, their back legs would become paralyzed and they would fall over. All my friends thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't think it was so hilarious because I would have to go and help get them out of the, the little creek ditch thing that ran through our place when they fell over because they wouldn't be able to get themselves out. They fell in the water. They could drown. Anyway, off that ramble, these are the High Rise Houndstooth Pull-On Slimming Ponte Leggings. They were eleven fourteen. I'm very curious about these. 
I don't even think I've ever had a Ponte pant. Look how wide that elastic is on the inside. That is very wide. Maybe that's the slimming part. The 74 polyester, 22 rayon, and four spandex. They're in a 2X machine wash cold line dry. I don't mind line dry too much. We just put them on a hanger. But they may be too big because I got them in a 2X. I don't know. I've got to figure out my size, y'all. Do you know of a store or somewhere I could go? Where would I go to get my measurements taken? So I could actually have my measurements. Um, one of the subscription boxes I go to specifically asks for your measurements. And I know I got mine so wrong because I didn't even have a like clothing tape. All I had was a regular tape measure, you know, the, the retractable one. So I know it didn't do right. So if y'all know of a place somewhere that does that, please let me know. Let's look at the shoes now. Who doesn't love shoes? All right, these are a Tiffany quilted felt lace up sneaker wedge. They were $20 and 47 cents. 20 bucks for a pair of wedge tennis shoes. I have seen so many people wearing similar things to this. I thought, well, I've got to try it. I thought it was super cute with this quilted texture to it and then it's got the leather you know it has a heel it is a wedge shoe and it has a zipper and it has uh you know a tie in the front if you wanted to tie but i mean cute little shoe we'll see how they look on i'm hoping that they don't feel too high on me because i'm not used to a high heel considering most of the time i run around with just my socks uh, the next thing I have, I had to write this one down because they, there wasn't a piece of paper telling me in my bag. These are the Everly Cognac Tall Boots. For, I got them for $27. And they don't want to come out. There go. I'm looking for the perfect black tall boot haven't found them yet. I've got one pair of light, light tan tall boots. Oh, these are actually taller than I wanted them to be. Um, they're probably going to come up to my knee. I don't know if I'll like that. I just want mid-calf. And why is it so hard to find a mid-calf shoe? And I do wear seven and a half, so we'll see what those look like on. But I've been, I don't know, I've just been wanting to wear you know, with the skinny jeans, that boot look where it's your, it's over your jeans. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. Now, if I can only find my remote to pause y'all so I can try some of this stuff on. I, I will be right back. All right, guys. Check this out. The pants. I mean, I think I could get away with wearing them like this. I don't know if I should go a size down or not in them. What do y'all think? Step over the kitty cake stick so you can see. I didn't put any shoes on with it. Um, the tank top. I'm glad I got the bigger size because it is a little tight there. I kind of think I like this jacket. I may have found the jacket I have been looking for. Although, the pockets don't really work. That's a bummer, because I do like putting my hands in my pockets. But, I mean, this is nice. It would dress up, you know, any kind of outfit. You could wear it with jeans, or you could wear it with black pants. Throw on a nice shirt underneath it. For filming purposes, I just put on what I had to try on. But yeah, I kind of like that jacket. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the other jacket with this outfit and we'll compare the two. And it gave you a chance to see that, uh, tank top. Let me look at myself in the mirror and see. This one's not too bad, but I do think I like the other one better. Um, 
it just seems to, I guess, give me a little more shape. I don't know. I don't know if it was just the detail of the zip I like because I have that little edgy side. I think this would work. I don't, I don't know that I really like that length. The others were pulled up a little more. I think I would be doing that the whole time I was wearing this. So I may have to think on this a lot. Just let me know if you think I should size down in these pants or not. Simply because of this right here. I don't know if you can see that. This bugs me more than anything else. But it, I mean, it looks fine back here. And unless they're supposed to be legging tights, I'm not even sure. Right, maybe now you can see a little better how they're doing. What do you think on the size? This is the second best thing to having somebody here with me to tell me what to do because now y'all can tell me what you do, think I should do. Simply because of this, I'm not sure. But I do like the look of the pant. Maybe I should try the size down. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna put those other leggings on and see how it goes. Be okay, y'all. I was really liking how soft these leggings were until I got to the top. This band is super tight. And considering my belly button is right here, it comes up above my belly, which I like that, but it, it just seems just a little too tight. And it, you can see my panties through them, y'all. They're just that tight up here. So I'm not gonna keep them, but if I did, I definitely want something that was long and loose around it. Uh, let me pause you and I will put you back. Actually, let's do the shoes first. Y'all, I may have injured my hand trying to get these things zipped up. Look, the zipper's on the outside. Isn't that weird? Instead of being on the inside? Um, yeah. I, I don't, these are going back. It was so hard for me to get, there's no stretch. So it was so hard to get me zipped up by the stretch. I mean, I, I got it there. But it was a struggle, y'all. It was a serious, serious struggle. What do y'all think about them? I mean, because now that they're zipped, they're not uncomfortable. But I don't know about this up to the knee thing. I'm sure it would be adorable with the dress to come to here for people who do that kind of stuff. But I think I would have liked them better, you know, if they had cut off right here or even right here. Uh, let me put the tennis shoes on and see what you think of those. Okay, I definitely feel taller. Um, I do think these are really cute. I mean, let me cook it again. Look at all that junk in my floor. Oh my goodness. What do y'all think of these? Is it just too, too trendy? Or is it perfect trendy? I can't decide. I mean, they're comfortable. They're surprisingly comfortable. It's just like wearing a tennis shoe, but they, they do have that heel on them. But I don't notice it. Now, I was in debate. I mean, they're kind of wide. So maybe that tripping on rock when you're walking on gravel wouldn't happen as bad with these as it would the ones that come smaller. But I feel like that could still be a possibility. So I would have to be careful about where I wore them. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see the shirt I have on. I'll be right back. Y'all, this would definitely be an undershirt for me because it is tight and you can even see, you know, where those pants are sucking me in so much right here at the band. Um, Cause you can definitely see my bra on this one. I'd have to wear some kind of different bra. Let me put one of those jackets on over the top just so we can see what it looks like underneath something. See, that's cute. I like that. And that's how I would wear it, with something over the top of it. I would just have to be careful about that. What do y'all think? Worth keeping? Or should I just send it back and not worry about it? Did y'all hear my knee pop? Man, okay. Uh, let's do a recap. I'll be back. So I tried to clean up a little bit. Y'all look how crooked this camera is. Tried to clean up a little bit while I was moving the camera and I got my face all red. That's what happens when I do anything. 
and my hair has got the poof going on. It always does. Who cares? Anyways, um, this jacket, the one they call the asymmetrical jacket with the zippers, I think I'm probably going to keep it. I like the way it looked on me. I like the little bit of edginess to it and the little bit of dressiness that I think it will give an outfit. Um, the brown boots, which I haven't put back together yet, I'm going to take back. Um, this zipper, even with not having it on, is hard to zip. Um, as you can see, I'm still struggling with it in my hand. Okay, there it goes. It's like one of those old, old zippers that's kind of rusty. <laughs> I mean, they're nice boot. Don't get me wrong. Um, they're just not for me. I'm sure they're for somebody, just not for me. Uh, these shoes, look at that. My cat rubbed on them. I got fur all over them. Probably going to keep them anyway. Um, also have that edgy look to them that I'm kind of into right now. I don't know why. Um, I like the height too because, you know, I'm five, four and a half. I stress the half part. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably going to keep these just to give you a little extra height. I think you could throw them on with anything and go. This black blazer I liked, but since I'm keeping the other one, I don't know that I'll keep this one also. I'll just, you know, pick one, send the other back. I would have probably kept it if I didn't like the other one so much, but this one, it, it will go back. These leggings, y'all, they're so soft. And if it wasn't for this band up here being so uncomfortable, I would have kept them. But on me, they just didn't work. And I remember years ago, I found some that were this soft on Amazon. And they didn't have that wide band. I loved them. I bought them in black, brown, and I think green. And I went to go back because I wanted some burgundy ones. And they have this wide band now. So, actually, no, I think I was going to buy more black ones. So, I don't know if that's just a legging thing or what, but anyway, they're going to go back to the store. The gray t-shirt or tank top is going to go back to the store. I just didn't, didn't care for it. I'm in debate about these Ponte pants with the horns tooth. I think they're adorable. I just don't know if I should go a size down or not. I'm going to need y'all's help making that decision, so please comment below. Let me know what you think. I should do about these pants because I'm just I'm really indecisive when it comes to them and the tank top I'm thinking about keeping I mean it was like seven bucks even though it's a little tight and I wouldn't wear it without something over it I think it would be super cute under stuff so you know I've got a green kind of jacket thing that I think would be cute over it it's you know three-quarter length sleeves I think it was a Maurice's I think I got it from thread up um, so I'm thinking about keeping this as well. I'll just have to look and see. This is my main dilemma is if I should keep this or not. And I was kind of on the fence about the shoes, but they are really growing on me. Um, I didn't expect them to be that comfortable when I put them on because of the height of them, but they were. So I'm thinking about that, keeping them. I just really, I want y'all's opinion. Um, my husband is no good for clothing opinion. You know, it, it's all just Greek to him. He he is so t-shirt and jeans. I mean, you can hardly get him to wear anything else besides that. Uh, even to church or to work, I can get him to wear a polo, but it took a lot of finesse to get him to wear a polo. So, um, please help me. I need the help. Miss Callie will appreciate it too, won't you, Miss Callie? Aren't ya? You'll appreciate it too. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate y'all's comments. I appreciate y'all's subscriptions, your likes. Um, I would appreciate if you would share my videos with people who also you, you think might enjoy them. Um, go check me out on my Facebook page. I normally try to do like an outfit of the day every once in a while. Not all the time, because sometimes I just stay in my PJs, y'all. Being serious, 
somebody who doesn't leave the house, sometimes I stay in a few days. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.